On the night of Saturday, August 19th, 2023, a group of hyenas ran away from Animal Kingdom at Disney World Orlando. By the way, such a magical place, very, very popular. Kids love it there. They absolutely love it. Now, I heard about this when it happened, and I was thinking that hyenas would end up in Kissimmee somewhere and walk into a 14-foot alligator because those gators in Florida are really, really territorial. They will take your dog, your cat, raccoons, and even you. But somehow, instead, these hyenas decided to go north. They went outside of Orlando, Orange County, skipped over Maitland, and went into Seminole County. They got hungry and stopped at this restaurant here in Longwood, Florida, off of Ronald Reagan. With all that running and jumping around, they worked up an appetite. That's why they went to Papa B's. That's a chicken wing restaurant. And of course, they like chicken. Most people in America love chicken. And Papa B's obviously has some good wings with all the normal flavors, the barbecue, buffalo, lemon pepper, all of that. While at the restaurant, you would think the hyenas will behave themselves or at least try to like normal customers, you know, because they already stand out. I mean, it's literally a pack of hyenas at a restaurant in this Orlando suburb. They ran all the way from Disney World without getting caught by animal control. Well, they blew their cover because when they got to this restaurant and started eating, they got really out of control and went wild on the whole staff. So animal control had no other option but to come back, pick them up and haul them off. And that's just what they did. They picked up five of them and put them in a cage. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. If you're watching from Orange County, Florida or Seminole County, definitely let me know below. No, they're using their fists. Okay, black, white, Hispanic. That's what the 911 dispatcher wanted to know when an employee called her to report five women who jumped on her manager at a Longwood, Florida restaurant. She just automatically assumed they had to be one or the other. And I don't know why, because it's not like it's not Florida. Like it's not common to find a Florida resident of any race acting like they came straight out the Everglades. But I digress. Several employees at this restaurant called the police on these five women here, identified as 18-year-old Kenesha Charles, 19-year-old Taisha Charles, 24-year-old Kianza Charles, 26-year-old Jasmine Klein, and 20-year-old Jalea Smith. These women are reportedly related. At least three of them are sisters. That's the Charles girls. The manager of the restaurant, the female victim, last name Henson. She's in her mid to late 30s. Henson gave a sworn statement to officers that night. Here's that statement documented by the respondent officers on the police report. It says, Henson was advised by the wait staff that the bathroom toilet was stuffed with toilet paper and that a table of five females, subsequently positively identified by their Florida driver's license, that's their names listed here. The officer went on to write, they may be to blame as they were the only patrons in the restaurant at that time. The bathrooms were cleaned and Henson advised the wait staff to keep an eye on the table to ensure it doesn't happen again. Henson stated that at this point in the evening, the five females were the only patrons in the restaurant. Henson stated that she was made aware that one of the patrons excused herself from the table and went to the restroom. Once the customer exited the restroom, wait staff followed behind to check the condition of the restroom. Henson was advised by wait staff that the toilet was once again stuffed with toilet paper in excess, prompting Henson to advise the patrons that they need to leave. Additionally, Henson advised the restaurant is now closed and since they have already paid their tab that they need to leave and that she was aware that one of the customers stuffed the toilet with toilet paper. The patrons became irate and began yelling at Henson who advised them once again they need to leave. The verbal altercation continued and one of the patrons stood up and punched Henson in the face with a closed fist, prompting the remaining four members of the dining party to join in punching kicking, pulling hair, and throwing items at Henson. Henson was unable to tell who was punching and kicking her, but advised that it was the entire table. Then the officer wrote, I observed a laceration behind Henson's left ear and bruises to her right inner thigh and right arm, consistent with her account of the incident. So after speaking with the manager, another victim at the restaurant, an employee in her early 30s, she gave a sworn statement as well, Barkley was completing her side work when she heard a verbal altercation between Henson and customers in the dining room. 
Barkley stated that Henson advised a table consisting of five females that they need to leave, at which point one of the girls threw a cup at Henson and started punching her. Barkley rushed over to Henson's aid and began pulling the girls off Henson, prompting one of the girls to slap Barkley as the other members in the dinner party got on top of Barkley throwing a chair. The altercation was eventually broken up by several employees. I observed bruising to Barkley's left eye and left elbow, consistent with her account of the incident. The officer spoke with six employees, all witnesses, three females and three males. The officer wrote, according to their statements, they observed Ms. Henson and Ms. Barkley being attacked by all five suspects at their booth. During the course of the altercation, he wrote, they advised multiple chairs fell from tables where they were stored for cleaning. Suspects threw cups and salt shakers at them while they were attempting to stop the fight. Towards the end of the fight, all five females fled the business through the front door and ran towards the rear of the business where they were apprehended by law enforcement. After speaking with the victims and witnesses, I was able to view surveillance footage of the incident. So there are a lot of videos of this incident, but none of them got posted online. The employees had video footage and the restaurant also has surveillance video. And the officer here, he's describing what he saw on that video in this report. He said, I observed Henson approach a table occupied by five females. One of the females stood up and punched Henson in the face with a closed fist, prompting the other members of the dining party to get involved in the physical altercation. Barkley, that's the other employee, intervened and attempted to break up the fight, at which point the females turned and began fighting Barkley before being broken up by the other employees. Also caught on camera as they were leaving the business, the women can be seen knocking down chairs from tables and throwing salt and pepper shakers, subsequently breaking the restaurant's items. Now another officer spoke with the five women and they gave their story. They said after paying for their food, they were sitting at their booth talking when they were approached by an employee. According to all five women, the employee was very rude and disrespectful and told them that they had to leave due to the fact that they were closing shortly and because they intentionally clogged the toilet after it was recently cleaned by another employee. The women claimed as they got up, the employee pushed Jasmine Klein in the chest, resulting in other employees joining in the attack. The women went on to say as they attempted to leave, another employee attempted to lock the door keeping them from leaving until law enforcement arrived on the scene. All five women said they were attacked by several employees and were in fact the victims. Obviously their story wasn't believable based on the surveillance video. So all five of the women were placed in handcuffs and was transported to the John E. Polk Correctional Facility by the Longwood Police Department and Seminole County Sheriff's deputies due to the number of arrestees. It was so many of them, they had multiple officers transporting them and they got locked up at the county. They did bail out and the case is ongoing. Charlemagne gave the five women donkey of the day, but just hilarious tried to spread the blame as usual and said the manager should also be donkey of the day along with the five customers. They made the whole conversation about using the bathroom in public and just hilarious defending these hyenas instead of holding them accountable. Five girls, toxic 20s, beat up mm -hmm. one of the workers because the worker told them they had to leave because it was after hours and one of the girls had uh, clogged the toilet up with a bunch of d**k in toilet paper. Yes, and see, and just brought up a good point. Just said she feel like the worker should get some of the donkey too because the worker shamed the girls. Shamed Correct. them. Correct. Yeah, she had to movements. bring up that y'all clogged the toilet And I agree, yeah. I agree with Jess. Like asking them yeah. to leave, business hours are closed, that's mm -hmm. cool. But when you start shaming somebody, that's why your nasty ass, you know, clogged yeah. up the toilet. Then yeah. you know, now it's a problem. They, they're in Florida already. So the girl, the worker is from Florida too. Just know that. Yes. And it's time to get off of work. Oh, and you, man. And you walk out and you like, you can only imagine because the one girl punched. So that had to be who, the one who did the big, the yes. first girl stood up and punched her. Imagine what was said to provoke that punch. I'm not saying that was right. Right. But I'm just saying you are, you from Florida for one. That's first and foremost. That's first strike. You, you're, 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 it's you're at the end of your shift. You sick of this. Tired. This is what you strike. did with. You tie it. And then there's five young black girls out there. They How you know they black they now? They still out there. <laughs> they still. Michaela, Bakayla, Jaquela. What it was? Come on now. You said their names now. You ain't even just putting me out because it's after hours. You put me out because of the big I just did in the bathroom, which is your job to clean up, whether it's big or small. That's right.
The restaurant staff never mentioned waste in the toilet in any of their statements. They only talked about clogged up tissue. So I don't understand why they made the conversation about doing the number two in public and in the bathroom. The restaurant staff accused the women of intentionally clogging the toilet twice with toilet paper. Don't know why anyone would do that, but I also don't understand why people will start fighting and protesting to stay somewhere that they're being told to leave. But hey, this is your modern day flamingo. That's their behavior. We see a lot of these modern women with their bad behavior, making a bunch of noise and running their mouths everywhere they go, causing problems, never de-escalating and always escalating a situation. These women obviously had no home training. They either don't know how to use the bathroom properly and understand how to use a toilet, or they intentionally clogged up the toilet. Either way, the manager made the decision to kick them out of the restaurant and they didn't want to leave. I also confirmed that this attack happened 10 minutes before the restaurant closed. That's based on the timing of the calls. Again, you can listen to my review of those calls after this video. The link is below. Now, this whole story is crazy and clearly shows the state of how shameless modern women are today. Whether or not the clogging was intentional, this is why you can't have low quality untrained people at your house. Even if it was unintentional, it's still embarrassing that her mama didn't teach her how to use the bathroom. And I could believe it because it's a lot of things their mama didn't teach them how to do these days. That's why these lessons that I give here are very important, especially for women needing more guidance. All because their mother's failure to teach their daughters how to be women and the basics of life. Totally sabotaging them, by the way. And then you have people like The Breakfast Club and Jess Hilarious defending this nonsense. And this is exactly why these women run around here behaving like this. They always stick together behind foolishness, gutter snipe behavior, but they don't stand behind women doing the right thing. It all starts at home. No home training whatsoever. And then look on the report. Look at the weapon or weapons listed here. It says hands, feet, fist, and teeth. So at least one of the women is being accused of biting. I mean, look at this foolishness. Sounds like a pack of German shepherds to me. All five women were charged with three misdemeanors, one count second degree damaging property, one count disorderly conduct, and one count first degree battery. Bond amount for all of them was only $1,026, and they will be back in court in a few days here. Go ahead and listen to my review of those 911 calls. You can check them out for yourself. And let me know what you think about this disgusting situation. Five women arrested after jumping on a manager, throwing glasses and chairs at employees, including a minor employee. They completely trashed the place through food, salt shakers, and napkins all over the restaurant. Special thank you to my sister Nynese. I appreciate you Nynese for all of your support. Also much love to my sister Tanette and big shout out to the fellas Edmund, BX Panda, Dark Power, and Randy. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.